So I'll start with this question. You have been to every TI, but always with a different team. So how has the experience changed for you over the years, and what have you learned as a player from that? Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's always different coming here, because obviously I play for different teams. But um, uh, this year, there's something different about it. Like, first of all, I'm, I'm a captain. And uh, I've had, like, I've had a really good year in a sense where I have won tournaments and I have achieved something that I didn't achieve before going into TI. Apart from that, uh, I think it's every TI I've been to has always been with an underdog team, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's kind of kind of sad in a way um, since I've been to all TIs and I've the other people have been to TIs have gotten really good placements. Some have won, some have. Uh, gotten into top three multiple times, and uh, I've always been in, in the bottom of, of the placements. Well, and it has to be interesting too for you, because the level of play is different every time. You're playing with a completely different group of people. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that makes you a stronger player overall. Yeah, sure. I mean, I've definitely learned a lot just as a player, but also as a person, because I've played with so many different nationalities and types of people. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm I'm becoming smarter every year in, in a lot of ways, so that's cool as well outside the game. And you, you've had a really varied experience just in this year alone. You were on Team Secret, you guys actually went on to win Shanghai, but even after that you ended up having to switch teams again. Mm -hmm. Walk us through what that experience was like for you. Um, it was really sad for me. Like I, have, I had a team that I finally achieved some great goals with uh, that I didn't do before, um, so obviously I was kind of annoyed at the whole situation. Um, I did, kind of lost all motivation um, to keep going. But after a few days, I, uh, some people convinced me to keep going and, and said that it was kind of a missed opportunity and I should just keep going. Um, so I got these, these guys and we, get, we formed the team together and, and now I'm here again. Are there hard feelings with your old team, with Team Secret? Do you have a, an extra motivation to kind of prove to them that, that, that maybe they made a mistake? I don't know. I feel like, like definitely there's some, some drive there because of what happened. Um, I don't feel like I need to prove anything to them. Um, I would rather just prove that they were wrong all along, even though uh, I already know that in a sense. Um, but I mean, I'm definitely more, like, maybe more hungry, uh, especially if I'm going to play against them um, in some knockout match or something like that. And then you watched even more changes happen. I mean, there have been a lot of changes just in the last month. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you to watch? I knew about, like, when, when both teams kind of fell through after the initial change, it was kind of obvious to me that another change was going to come because you can't, you can't fail that miserably and then just keep going um, because that's not how it works in Dota. The whole situation was just really dumb for me, and I, I don't know, especially with the people involved that has already switched so many teams with those exact teams, like EG and Secret. And you're in a leadership role this time around as captain. What has that experience been like, and are you enjoying it? It's, 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 it's a different feeling. I, I don't really enjoy it. I would rather be the guy next to the captain, you know, <laughs> yeah. being, being that guy, you know. What are your expectations for this team? Uh, I, think, I think we're going to go into top eight, and uh, I think a realistic goal would be top six. I think it's going to be hard for us to keep up the consistency throughout the whole event and, and, and win everything, but it's, it's definitely possible. We have, to, we have the potential to do it.